Hello guys and welcome back to the Platformer 2D tutorial series. In this part we are going to do attacking for a player. So I'm just quickly going to show you a demo. Uh, yes, click play, nice. And as you can see if, we, if I press F you can see the player plays a attacking animation. When we go over to our turret and press F we can eventually kill it. Nice. So let's get started. So first off we have to create a animation for our player. So uh, I'm just going to delete that I did last. So uh, go to the player, click on player, click create new clip. Animation and let's call this player on a small attack. Nice. And the uh, sprites we're going to use for it is going to be what is it? Where is it? Oh, it isn't this one. It is on the old D knife guy. And from t twenty four to twenty six. So let's drag those in, and the sample is going to be ten. So it isn't so fast. Good, so let's create the thing for our animator now, and I am just going to click on the player and remove this. So yes, yeah, um, we're going to create some transitions, and we need a parameter called attacking, and it's going to be a bool. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Bool uh, attacking. Good, and then we are going to create some transitions. So from air, walk, and idle to the player attack and back again. So just going to be a little bit fast here. Nice. Oops. Make transition to good. So from player walk, we're going to say uh, no exit time and transition duration zero. So it transitions instantly or instant, I guess it's named. Okay, so uh, the uh, conditions. The condition is going to be attacking. So when attacking is, is equal to true, we're going to transition over to the attacking animation. Good. So let's do that for all the animations. Nice. True. And the same thing for the third one. True. Good. Then we're going to do it back again to the player walk. And that is going to be... Uh, uh, say speed is need, needs to be uh, greater than 0 0.1 and attacking should be false and grounded should be true. Good, so let's do it for the idle and that is going to be almost the th same thing. Uh, need to 3 and the idle just has to be less than 0 0.1 the speed. And then we need the grounder to be true and attacking to be false. And for the air, we are going to set the exit time to zero and transition to zero and the speed. No, we ain't going to use that. Grounded should be false and attacking should be false. Good. So now we've done the animator stuff. So let's get into our actual trigger for the player. So we're going to create a new empty game object and that is going to be uh, called hmm, attack trigger. So the way we're going to do the attacking for a player is basically by enabling and disabling a trigger. And that trigger is going to say if if I, uh, I collide with uh, a turret for example I will uh, send a message that is going to be calling a function called damage and then we're going to damage the turret. Good. So let's create the collider or trigger, fairly simple. Box collider 2D and that is going to be a is trigger and let's just uh, scale it. This is nice. Good. So now uh, we can begin on creating the script. Uh, so, uh, reload. Now, oh, wait a minute. I just have to remove some things that I did before because I've already reloaded this once. Um, so, 
let's create two new scripts. The first one is going to be called uh, player attack, and the second one is going to be called uh, attack trigger. So let's start by assigning these things so we don't forget it. So player attack should be on player, and attack trigger should be on the attract trigger object. Good. So uh, let's get started with this. Let's click uh, reload and open the script player attack. So now we are in our player attack script. Good. We need some uh, just with my microphone. We need some variables here. So we need one called private uh, bool lien or just bool uh, attacking. Uh, let's set that equal to false, and then we're going to say private, private, float, attack, timer. It's going to be used for some cooldown stuff, and private, float, attack, cooldown. And that is going to be, uh, let's set that to 0.3f, because else it'll complain. Okay, what do we need now? We need another one called a uh, public collider 2D. That is going to be attack trigger. Good. And then we need what do we need? We need another reference which is going to be a private animator anim. Nice. So now let's create a uh, an awake function. Awake void awake going to be called at the very start and anim is going to be equal to game object dot get component animator good and the attack trigger is uh, going to be enabled or disabled actually because we're setting the enable to false so what we're actually doing so when we go back into unity and look at our attack trigger right here we're just taking this box through the script. So we are starting off by uh, disabling this. Good. So, let's continue. So now we will create a new function that's going to be a update and update function. So, we're going to uh, say if input.get key down, net key is going to be f and uh, isn't attacking. Good, so uh, if we press the F key and we ain't attacking, we will say attacking, attacking equals to true, not true, but true, and we will, s oh my god, what am I doing? Sorry. Attack timer. Let's set that equals to attack cooldown. And then we will set the attack collider. Uh, no, not that. Uh, attack trigger is it called? Uh, that enabled to true. Good. And then we will say if we are attacking. And if the attack timer is bigger than zero, we will uh, reduce the attack timer by the amount of seconds that has passed. Time dot delta time. So this is just a simple cooldown. And then we will say else. So if attack timer is uh, is less than zero. Then we will. Uh, what do what do we want? And we said attacking equals to false. Nice. And then we said attack col uh, trigger dot enables equals to false. Okay. Good. Um, so let's try this out. Let's let's see. 
So on our player, let's see if we have... So we need to assign the attack trigger. Just drag and drop. So... Let's just see. See if it gets enabled. It does. And good. We... We can. We can. It works. Nice. <laughs> uh, we just need to... Uh, Set the uh, boolean attacking. So anim dot set bool, and that is going to be attacking. And attacking the variable we have in our script. Good. Let's try again. Good. Now we now we slash. That's nice. Okay. So now we are going to create the script for our attack trigger. So that is going to be the attack trigger script. Um, it's here. Let's just open it. And let's remove this because we ain't going to use that. So public int dmg. Let's set that to 20. So dmg is just short for damage, of course. And we will say void on trigger enter 2d. It's going to take collide 2D call. Good. And then let's say if uh, the collider we are colliding with is is let's say is trigger isn't equal to true. So if it isn't a trigger and if call dot compare tag is enemy, then we will say call send message upwards damage so uh, yeah and we will input a value which is going to be our damage good so what we're doing here is basically uh, trying to call a function uh, with uh, whatever we are colliding with so uh, we are colliding with the enemy because or we will make sure that we are colliding with the enemy because we're saying this so if the tag is enemy, we're going to call a function uh, which is called damage and let's input the dmg value which is our damage right here but first we have to create our actual uh, damage function down here in our third AI script so let's do that so let's say public uh, void damage and that is going to take an int, not iterator, int damage, good, which is the value that we input right here. Um, and then we're just going to simply say current health minus equals to dmg, or damage, I mean. Good, and then we will say game object dot get component animator no animation I mean because we're going to use the legacy animation system for this dot play and we're going to play the hmm, player underscore red flash animation we can also use that for the turret apparently apparently I'm trying to say good nice so uh Let's see, uh, we still need something. We need to check if our current health on our turret, sorry for that, current health is less than or equals to zero. We will, what do we want? We will say destroy uh, game objects. So this is pretty self-explanatory what this does this basically just destroys the game object good so uh, now we just have to set up the animation thing so we're going to add a component on our turret so let's do that uh, oh I already have added it so just redo it animation so add a component animation and we're going to drag drop the player red flash animation Nice, and play automatically should be off. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's see if it works. Just full screen. 
good. Nice. Nice, it worked. Cool. So, that is basically everything for this uh, really quick tutorial. So, thank you for watching. Uh, and see you in the next parts. Goodbye, guys.